guys, welcome to my channel. So today I created this really natural, dewy look. Um, I know in my last video I did something more on the dramatic side, so I thought I would keep it a little toned down and more natural. So yeah, I mean, just a lot of highlight, uh, soft colors on the eyes, and I wore some lashes. You guys obviously don't have to. It's for my girls out there that don't like to wear that much makeup every day. I mean, it is a lot, but we toned it down. But I hope you guys enjoy this look, and if you do, don't forget to leave a comment down below, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm not really sure what kind of look I'm going for right now. I just sat down and I was like, oh, let's film something. Um, I kind of want like a natural, dewy look, with just like simple eyes, because the last look I did was pretty dramatic, so I thought I should do a more simple look. So I'm just, I'm just going to go with it. I already primed my face with the professional and I'm going to go in with my foundation. Um, I'm trying this new foundation out. It's the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. Um, I've heard really good things about it so we'll see how that is. So I'm just going to take that and dot it all over my face. Now I'm going in with my Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to blend that out. So now that the foundation's done, I'm going to go in with my concealer and just prime my eyelids. And I'm sorry if I keep looking off to the side. I have like a little viewfinder on this side right here, so that's why I'm not always looking in front of the... in front of me. Now I'm going in with the Carly Bible palette and just a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to pick up this brown shade right here. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. I'm picking up this Wild Child um, palette from BH Cosmetics and I'm going in with this light pink shade right here and I'm just going to apply that all over my lid with my fingers. I'm going to pick up this brown shade right here and I'm just going to apply that onto the outer end of my eye. So I just moved my mirror on this side because is bothering me over here but when I'm doing more of a dewy look or a natural look I like to take eyeshadows that have more of a sheen or like glitter in them just because I feel like it looks more natural and it gives it makes your eyes pop and makes your eyes look bigger picking up this matte white color right here or like a creamy color and I'm just gonna put that under my brow bone and then I'm picking up this highlight shade right here it's like a pinky shade and I'm going to apply that under my brow bone too. Now I'm going in with mascara and I'm just going to put some on my top eyelashes. Now you don't have to do this stuff, but I'm just extra. So I'm going to go in with some false lashes. These are Coco lashes in the style Misha. You just want to wait for it to get tacky. Um, since we didn't apply any eyeliner, you really want to make sure that you go in and apply it right like into your lash line I want to say just so the band isn't showing. You always want to grab it by the end and apply it in the... I usually apply it in the end or the middle first. So I'm going to apply it to the end. I'm just going to start pressing it from the middle and to the end. You want to just kind of pinch your lashes together and just pull it down so it's close to your lash line. So now we're going to finish the face and then I'll come back to the eyes. So I'm going back in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm just going to put that under my eyes. When you're applying this, you apply it into like an upside down triangle motion not in just where your dark circles are because that's just going to highlight your dark circles even more. So when you do it like this, it highlights this entire area. So it hides dark circles and it also brings more light into it. I'm like using my hand so much. But um, it brings more light into it so it looks more natural that way. I'm also going to take this on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose. So a trick to actually make your nose look a tiny bit smaller is take your concealer on the sides of your nose. So it just thins it out a little bit right there. And also just a little bit on my chin. Back in with my Real Technique sponge and I'm just going to start 
blending that out. To set my eyes, I'm using this Bare Minerals Powder and Well Rested. I really love this stuff, guys. It really sets your under eyes so nicely, and it also highlights it. So if you like that highlighted look, this is going to just brighten up your under eyes so much more. I love it. I'm just going to take a little brush, dab it in there. I'm just going to put that under my eyes. I actually should have done this step before setting my under eye, but I'm just going to go on with this LA... LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I'm just going to contour my face. To make your lips look a little more pouty, I know my lips are like not so big, but they're pretty big. Just apply your bronzer or um, contour underneath your lips, just a little bit. I'm going in with a stippling brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. And when you're blending out your cheekbone, contour you want to make sure you're doing it in padding motions just because since we didn't set the foundation on this side you don't want to start moving around all the foundation so just go in padding motions oh for your jawline you don't need to pad it you just can really buff that out so to set my contour I'm going in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette I'm going to use this middle color right here to set everything. And again, I'm doing padding motions first. I usually do padding motions and then I go in and I blend that out. Well, now that most of my face is done, I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I used this in my last video, and guys, I really love this stuff. Um, I used the Anastasia one for a long time, but honestly, if you guys are looking for a cheap drugstore eyebrow pencil, you guys should definitely get this. It's really good, but use a light hand with this because it can be a little too dark, but it blends like a dream. Even if you do go heavy-handed with this, you can just blend it out. I'm going to start in the middle of my brow and I'm just going to outline the top and go towards the end and just fill that in and as I go towards the front I just do it in really small strokes because I do have a little bald spots on my eyebrows so I really want to make sure that part looks natural and not like I drew in my eyebrows which we are kind of doing, but we can make it look natural. So like I said, towards the front, you just want to make sure you brush it. Actually, you want to brush all of it. So you can see the difference. Like, oh, now that I finished one of my brow, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyebrows are done. This ColourPop Super Super. <laughs> I'm taking this ColourPop Super. Can't even talk. <laughs> I'm taking this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Tassel and I'm just gonna apply that in my tear duct. Now I'm going back in with the Carly Bible palette and I'm going to pick up I'm gonna pick up the darkest shade right here, a definer brush. I'm just gonna pack that closely to my lash line. Now I'm just going in with a small blending brush and I'm going to pick up this brown shadow right here and I'm just going to blend that out. Finish the eyes, I'm going to take some mascara and just put them on my lower lashes. Since this is a natural look, I'm going in with this Milani blush in Luminoso. It's just like a peachy-ish color. It has like a really cute, really cute, <laughs> it has a really nice sheen to it also. So I'm just going to apply that above where I put my contour. I'm just going to blend my contour and my blush together. Finish off the face, I'm going to highlight. I am going to use a couple different colors just because I want this look to be really dewy and glowy. So I'm going back in with the Carly Bible palette and I'm picking up this color right here that I'm going to apply first. So you apply it on my cheekbones 
and a little bit above the arch of my brows. And just a little bit on my nose. I don't want to highlight that too much. And on my chin. Again with Becca Cosmetics highlighter. This is the one I'm using. This is Champagne Pop by Jaclyn Hill. And I'm just gonna put that over. Holy moly. You guys see that? And the last highlight with MAC Soft and Gentle and just putting that on top. I know that seemed like a lot of highlight, but I mean, I'm extra honestly, so you guys can just go with one highlight and just highlight the crap out of your face. The lips, I'm going in with the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in number 13, and I'm just going to put that on my lips. This color is matte, but since I'm doing like a dewy look, um, I want a glossy lip. So I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. I'm going in with Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Nude, and I'm just gonna apply that all over. How cool is this? It has like a light in it. Can you see that? So like if you're applying it in the dark, it also has a mirror. So if you're applying it in the dark, you can just you have your light. I think it's a freaking awesome. But I'm just gonna apply that on top of my lip. Okay, and to set everything, I'm using this Master Fix by Maybelline. I just got it, so I'm hoping it's good. So here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you guys want, I could do more of these natural looks, or if you guys want to see dramatic, I can do those too. But just let me know, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye! Don't get a shadow into your eyes. It hurts like a mutt.